Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to this second hangout, first hangout of 2013. My name is Charles Bonacieux. I am in charge of marketing for the academic department of the SO system. We are going to show you today um, um, kind of interesting uh, 3D experiments we've made. Uh, what we're going to show you is something you teachers, you students, can replicate in your own classroom. If you go on academy.3ds.com beginning of next week, on Monday, you will find all the material of the appropriate material to do it yourself. We have a dedicated 3D experience tab on our website where you can find several materials to replicate in your classroom what we are doing here at the SO system. Now let me introduce you to Maxime, the trainee in our department, who works uh, on the amazing experience that you are going to, to show us. Um, this will change, uh, we really think, the way you are teaching and the way you are learning. So, Maxime, the floor is yours. Please have a few minutes to explain us what you've done uh, with Katia System and uh, this uh, helicopter. Okay, thank you, Charles. Hello everybody, my name is Maxime Monnier. I'm a fourth year student at the, the University of Technology of Compiègne in France, where I'm uh, learning uh, mechanical systems engineering. Um, as Charles already said, uh, already said sorry, I'm here at the system for six months internship. And uh, for me, the hand is near. As part of partnership with uh, the, the company Quanzer, Quanzer is a producer of educational labs like this one. So this one is a two degrees of freedom helicopter. Why two degrees? Because it can rotate only around the beach axis and around the yacht axis. So my objectives were to firstly to virtualize this um, helicopter into Katia V6 using Katia Systems Workbench and then to implement uh, a controller to control our uh, helicopter using Katia System. So let me show you um, what we have done and uh, what's going on. can prepare their uh, hands-on exercises at home or out of school. Then they can go to the lab, plug the USB on the computer, and play the simulation on the real device. What's all? There is many questions. So in fact, what you've done, uh, thank you, Martin, for this uh, great presentation. You can come with me uh, we work on the floor. Um, so, the, in fact, what you have done is that you used um, Katia to design this model in 3D, right? Yes. How, how many times did it take to do that? It takes four months to design only uh, the behaviors of the helicopter and uh, the 3D models. Okay. And then, so that was with Katia V6, right? Yes. And then you use Katia system to implement the behavior inside the helicopter? Yes, that's right. Can you explain it a little bit further how, how it works? Because I, I saw a lot of graphics here, but I don't really know how it Okay, how yes, it works. of course. So with Katia system, you can uh, play the simulation and also uh, show many diagrams as uh, the position, the yo and the pitch position, but also um, the voltage uh, is sent to the DC motors or um, the electrical power is consumed mm -hmm. and many, many other uh, signals. But you can also uh, implement your 
controllers into a virtual lab to avoid any problems or so in fact students can work with the helicopter for real for example if teachers are at this uh, uh, helicopter in that classroom they can work with it uh, for real but using 3d students and also teachers can work on the same on the same tool on the same helicopter but um, in 3d at, at home for example or in a restaurant or i don't know where, anywhere they are yes of course uh, students or teachers can uh, prepare exercises uh, very well around uh, at school but also uh, in the plane for example okay that's the concept of flipped classroom that maybe the teachers that are watching, watching us uh, may understand. That's that's interesting. Um, so just a few more questions for you, Maxim. Um, I, I see three different uh, graphics there. Can you tell us? Uh, yes. Okay. So here the it works. Here the, it seems complicated, but maybe it's not. Okay. So here, here the, in the simulation, I plot uh, the pitch angle, the pitch position, okay. and the uh, defined pitch. Position. So what I uh, told to the helicopter to go to, mm -hmm. and here the same thing, but for the yo and the yo rotation. Okay. And here on the little one, uh, the DC voltage uh, sent to uh, the two DC motors, so the yo and the pitch. So here you are in fact breaking the barriers between virtual and real because you can play in 3D using Katia system and see in real exactly how, how, how it reacts. Yes, that's it. Yes. Okay. And it's very it's easier to plot to show graphics uh, on the virtual or on Katia system mm -hmm. using the virtual of the real lab than uh, to get uh, for example uh, Signal voltage, yes, from the amplifiers of the real uh, device. So in fact, with three, you are allowed to make mistakes because you cannot break. Yes. Uh, and how do you know there is a mistake? How do you know that you cannot push the motor uh, so far in three? Is it is, is there something that is telling you it's not working well, or you will see it as uh, you can do with uh, the real device? For example, you will have uh, the helicopter will uh, no go to the target position. Targeted position, okay. or uh, it can uh, not work at all on the plane on the real life. Okay, okay, so it's uh, really the same. So uh, the one for the classroom and the rest for all the, the, the students that can uh, work from home. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. I uh, just want to know if there are some questions from the audience, let's say an audience, uh, a virtual audience. Maybe Florent, who is taking care of uh, the Sangot, Florent, is, are there any questions from you? Yes, we have one question from Facebook, which is, do you use other software? Yes, of course, before... Uh, Maybe if you have not understood the question, the question is, uh, does Maxim use other software than, than Katia? Uh, yes, I, I have already used uh, other software, Software like uh, SolidWorks, but it, uh, it made by the uh, systems too. Are there other questions now? Last one? Okay, good. Um, so just a reminder for you, um, we've done this demonstration thanks to the help of uh, Maxim, of the Dassault System Solution, of course, and of the Quanzer helicopter. Um, if you want more information on what we are doing at the academic department, and especially on what uh, Maxim uh, did during his six-month training program, you can contact us on Facebook. It's uh, facebook.com slash 3ds education. We'll be happy to answer your question. So thank you for your participation to this second hangout, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.